Uh oh, I, I think I'm in trouble. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. Oh no, I think I think we're toast. Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox. We're checking out a new game today called Empires of the Undergrowth. Uh, this is a pretty cool looking game. It's a real-time strategy game that's coming out on December 1st. And basically we take control of a little ant colony and we have to build out like different worker ants and um, soldier ants and that sort of thing. And we get to do some combat and some building and things. It's kind of like a, uh, it's sort of a different take on a real-time strategy game where you see a lot of the sci-fi stuff. This one's actually uh, science, more like science reality. <laughs> like this tiny little ant colony and you have to kind of Build it and do stuff, but let's uh, let's jump in and start a new game. Uh, do new formicarium, and I think we'll just call this cryptic colony. Ah, I see the queen has taken well to her new home. It's it's fascinating. She has already started to spawn. Incredible, really, that we found such a healthy specimen. How long until we can expect to see interspecies polymorphism? We should be patient and allow the colony to grow first. I've placed food nearby. Then we will introduce the Formica Fusca and observe the reaction. Excellent. Keep me updated on their progress. So this is like your your sort of starting uh, your starting board area, but they are beginning in... to expand their territory. That's right. We're expanding. Excellent news. Excellent news. So this is sort of the main jumping off point. Uh, you have like your main colony here that you build up and this is a place where you can go in and you can spend uh, some of the rewards you get for doing some of the different missions in order to improve the ants that are part of your colony. Hmm. Is something wrong? I, I have provided them with food just a few centimeters south of the queen, but, but they don't seem to be interested. If they are too distressed to collect food, then we will have to replace the colony and start again. Such a terrible waste. Such a terrible waste! Don't release the colony! We just got here! So in this section here, we're gonna do a little bit of building. Um, and the, the little uh, little light bulbs that come down on the side here act as uh, sort of a tutorial for the game. They give you a, sort of an idea of the different types of things that you can do in order to build up. Now, we can bring a certain amount of food back to the nest. We got about 70 here, but if we want to increase the amount of food that we can store and collect it that they've put down there, then we're gonna need to, whoops. Need to build out some food storage, and we're actually just a little bit shy of having enough to be able to build out the last one that I wanted to do. Uh, but we have seven worker ants here, as you can see. Uh, we don't have any soldier ants right now, but in this area here, I don't, I don't know that we do necessarily do any fighting in this area. We're pretty much just uh, just sort of building out our ant colony in this space. And then if we want to do something, uh, some different missions and stuff, up on the top right, or sorry, top left here, uh, we have the different challenges that we can do. So we have uh, Formicarium Challenge 1. Test the might of the Formicarium Colony. Will it survive uh, whatever the scientists have planned? This will unlock the next mission. So if we go 1.1 is New Homes. So we'll try this one out first. And I think we'll go with uh, Hard Difficulty. Just for fun. And this will give us a few different rewards. So reward uh, 22 will... Uh, so we get plus 22 to our ability to expand our territory on this particular space. So it just lets us dig out a larger area. Uh, plus 1,788. I can't tell exactly what that is. It looks like it might be... Might be food or something. I don't know. The picture's a little bit, little bit wacky compared to what the food looks like there. And then the last one is this... Um, what do they call it? The Royal Jelly, and that's what we use in here to actually spend points and uh, and increase our the skills of our ants and give them different abilities and stuff. There's even like some new unlocks and stuff in here for new ants we can get. So we've got Wood Ant Mortar and Wood Ant Rapid Fire. So it's almost like two different types of ranged ants kind of thing. One shoots mortar shots, the other one shoots rapid fire shots. Almost like a machine gun. It's kind of cool. But let's go ahead and do a mission though. Uh, we got uh, this first one out of the way and see how we do. This Formica Fusca queen has set up home beneath a rotting log. She is fat and vulnerable. Her first brood will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. Their priority now is to find food, and there is plenty around. But there are other hungry creatures down here. The workers will need to be vigilant. The oh, ants have that's so gross. A pocket of woodworm. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. 
They will be butchered and carried off for processing. Processing? It makes it sound like the ants are running their own little factory down here. All right, so this is their first mission, and on this map, I guess because it's so early in the game, they, they show on the map where the food's going to be hidden, uh, so we know exactly where to go to get more food. And they also conveniently show us on here uh, where the enemies are with these red exclamation points, so that makes it uh, sort of an easy easy way to start the game because you know where the enemies are and where, the, where to go for the food. But it's still not super simple because you have to be really careful balancing how you grow. The food that you collect in this game ultimately acts as the form of currency. So like with a lot of other real-time strategy games, you can buy to unlock uh, more units and upgrade units and that sort of thing. Uh, building stuff. And we can do more more and more with this game that's that's very similar to that. So they have a little bit of food they're bringing in, but not a ton. Uh, they can bring a certain amount back to the uh, the little nest that the queen ant is sitting on, but we're gonna have to build out some more food storage in order to collect more of this food that we're finding. These wonderful, tasty-looking little weevils. Mmm. Nothing says delicious like a squirmy white little bug thing. I don't know about you, but now I'm hungry. All right, so this will be where we'll do a little food storage. Uh, this should get us up to 100 and something, I think. 140, it looks like, is how much we can process. Oh, man, we filled that up right fast, too. Uh, okay, so now we're going to need to do a little bit of expansion here. It will bring on some of these soldier ants, the black ants, that will help us to help us to do a little bit of combat in here because we can't fight anything with just the little worker ants. They're they're super weak. This colony must remain them. small for now. No. Oh. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Drat. All right, we gotta find more food. It takes a lot to, to build up these ants, I guess. All right, I think we've gotten all of the free and easy food. There's some up here that doesn't doesn't appear to have any enemies in it. Food stores are full, can't collect anymore. Well, that'll be, that's easy. Let's, uh, let's make some more little black ants. And that'll allow them to uh, have a little more free space to store stuff. And then I think we'll take our little black ants and move them over to their own separate group. Now, we can not we can move the workers and stuff, too, so we can control them. But I think when they're not in this home nest group, I don't I don't think they'll... Uh, I don't know if they'll do, like, the normal collection activities and that sort of thing. I'm, I'm not sure exactly how that works. So around this nest, they're going to want to take the eggs, and they'll carry them automatically over to where you're doing your little hatching area, and they'll drop the eggs off. Then as your guys sort of die off, you they'll rehatch your automatically as long as you have enough resources. Let's build another one over there. So that'll get us up to like six little black ants. And they're kind of grabbing the last of the food there, so we're going to need... You know, we can do one more, I guess. Do one more black ant here. Alright, so seven black ants. We're going to need a fairly serious army, I think, to get through this one. Particularly since they have it set on hard. Maybe I should have done a little easier on this first one. Uh, but let's take the black ants, we'll send them down here, and then we're going to dig out this spot here. We'll find our first little combat. Get in there, guys. Faint little black ants. There they are. The workers have uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipus Olens. The Ochipus Olens. Horse. That is they a seriously coolly named bug. Combat. With powerful slicing mandibles for chopping up their prey. They are still small, however, and must undergo a final pupation before their armor is fully developed. Ew, the so pupation. Fast, they should be able to overwhelm these critters. We already did. All right, good. If so we. Answer disturbed uh, the adult. Man, this guy talks larvae, a lot. The outcome for the colony may not have been so fortunate. Well, it must expand. Fortunately, caution. wasn't that. So that, that's good. All right. So we we killed off our first little guys there. Now there's going to be some more over here. We'll have to attack, but we only have seven right now. Oh, this music is really dramatic. <laughs> Sounds really uh. That's actually really compelling. All right. Let's get uh. Let's get back over here, and we'll dig over this side now and see what we can find. Probably more of those little uh, devil's coachman or coach horse or whatever they're called. Evil little beetle bugs. Should you just call them beetle juice? There are intruders in the nest. Gee, you think? All right, so there's like five more of them here. We found. Uh oh, uh, I don't have enough ants down here to fight this many. Come on, guys, get in there! Don't stand there watching. 
save your brethren. All right, they got a couple down. Nice. All right, so this will give us a nice little injection. Of oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh, Work quickly, guys. Don't die. All right, there's even a worker getting the in on the action here. Starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. All right, so... Man, that was close. Okay, so we actually we lost all of the worker, or sorry, all of the black ants, and then I ran out of food, so we couldn't actually re automatically respawn them. So we're definitely gonna need to uh, definitely gonna need to take care of that a bit. Let's get get some of the stuff over there. We'll get our food our food stores back up high enough we can work here. Gee, Rose, uh, I'm gonna move this back to the nest. I don't know what the difference is between them being at the nest and being somewhere else. I don't know how that works. Um, but as long as we're in the nest, I guess they'll kind of do what they need to around here. So that gets us one up to one fourteen now. We have uh, eight black ants. Let's uh, let's make some more, and we should probably expand a little bit on the food stores also. Now we have the ability to upgrade, and that can let us increase the amount that we're able to store or the power level of the ants themselves if we upgrade those. So in the food storage here, we can see this one in the middle has enough enough around it feeding in points to the middle of it to get to the six that's required. So we can upgrade this one, and that'll increase the amount of food storage we have. I think that'll get up to like 170 or something. Yeah, so 170. So that gives us a little bit of extra storage space. We'll need to build some more ultimately, but it consumes food, and we're kind of we're trying to find the right balance between producing enough enough fighting ants and having enough of the different resources in play because there's a very limited amount of food on this map. It's funny because we're kind of ca we're like camped underneath some sort of a log or something. You would think it would be I think it would be ample food here, but apparently not. What do we got here? Tiles surrounded by level 2 tiles can be upgraded to level 3. Each upgrade makes ants produced by that tile more powerful. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, yeah. So we can do little upgrades and stuff basically. So not only can we upgrade the ants back at that main, the main starting map area where we build our, our core colony, but then we can also do it within the actual, actual game levels themselves. There are intruders in the nest. Yep, we got them. It's only three. We got it. Get them, black ants. Get them. It's kind of strangely gross and fascinating at the same time. A little ant combat. All right, there we go. Nice. All right, so we cleared out the food that was there, but man, that was really not very much. Um, need more ants. Give me more. Give me more combat ants. We're gonna have to start upgrading ants soon too, so they get a little bit more powerful. All right, so that gets us to like 13. 13 ants, though not very strong. Uh, I gotta be careful how much food I use up because if I if I use up too much. Then we'll be in a position where we can't uh, we can't respawn more of them if they should happen to die. So let's just dig in here. I think we're gonna go for this one next. There's only four enemies over here, and that'll open up a whole pile of food behind here for us, uh, which will help a lot with our expansion. All right, let's go over here, guys. Come on, little ant dudes. Get some, show some hustle. Let's go. All right, should be four enemies in here. Yeah, in the there nest. we go. So the far, the exclamation points. Protected. Well, they are. The exclamation points seem to show exactly how many there are going to be, which is kind of handy. Get them, little black ants. Oh, we're just kicking butt. Kicking mandibles and taking names. The ants inside of the thermal markers can be told to not gather food or not attack. Well, I kind of want them to gather food because they're kind of helping a lot that way right now. Let them keep doing that for the moment. Uh, let's get the workers in here. We'll hollow this out. Find some food in here. Go get the foods. Oh, what are those? Oh, they're like little pill bugs. These wood lice will make a significant addition to the colony's larders, but they're clinging tightly to the ground. It's going to take some effort to dislodge them. That's cool. I didn't realize that's what those bugs did. I've always seen them roll up into like a little ball, like little pill bugs. But didn't realize they could just like latch down on the ground so that things can't get underneath them to the soft tissues. That's kind of cool. Look at that. Fun and educational. And anti. 
All right, that'll give us a decent amount of food. Uh, we're going to need more food mound or more food storage over here. So let's, let's build out a couple more of these. I gotta be careful how much of those I make, though. They use up so much food to try to build out, build up more storage for food by consuming food. It's kind of weird. All right, let's do some more black ants here. That's good. Uh, we probably want to start looking at upgrading them too. We're at like 16 ants now. Do we want to upgrade them? So if we do upgrades, uh, all these ones are actually almost every one of these has the ability to upgrade because there's enough things around it adding points to it. So each time we do it, it's going to cost us 50 though. It'll be the challenge. So it does use up a fair amount of resources, unfortunately. Not enough. There we go. They still got. They still bringing food back? No, they've they've hit up all that food. So let's dig out this next batch. There might be more of those pill bugs in here. Or whatever they're called, wood lice. Dig out the food, my minions. My army needs to eat. Oh yeah, same thing. That's good. All right, so we'll get another good supply of food off of that. Now, we have to kill all the creatures on this one in order to finish the mission, so it's going to take a little bit. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of enemies in here. Look, look at this one up here. That is not going to be fun. All right, come on, little ant guys. I want to have as big of an army as possible in order to try to get, to, get through this all, so I think... Um, I think I'm going to upgrade the ants to like level 2, but I'm not going to go as high as level 3. And I'll try to spend the points instead on expanding the size of the army with the number of ants instead of spending it on upgrades only. Um, once I get more food back here, we'll do more upgrades anyway. Oh, we have about half of the army worth uh, upgraded to level 2, so that should give them a little bit of additional power. Now, there's a fairly big bunch of bugs there. Uh, let's get the ones that are down here in the middle so we get these cleared out. I'm to get you guys in nice and close here so you're ready to fight. Hopefully the 16 of them, now that they're up, upgraded, will be uh, will be ready to go. Do some quick beetle smashing. The Devil's Coachman or whatever they're called. Loose in the nest. All right, let's go get them. must be protected. Get them, get them, get them. I think I keep losing worker ants every time this happens. They break through and then they get... They decide to fight for some reason instead of running and they get killed off. Kind of want them to run. There we go. Okay, you guys, uh, you guys can collect food now. So let's go grab that stuff. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll put these over here for now, so I can actually can tell them not to fight anymore. So if I tell them not to defend, then hopefully when they dig through and find enemies like that, they'll just run away from them. That would be good. In the meantime, this nice little, nice little surge of additional food will be good. And we're also going to need. Some more, uh, some more space for some more black ants. I think we got 16 of them so far. Let's maybe build some more down below here. Um, if I build them over here, maybe we can build another nice nest in here. I like to keep it, like I want to keep it tight in with the walls because it, it seems to get some bonus points for that, so that you're, you're ready to upgrade a little bit quicker. Uh, we've maxed out our storage again, so let's quickly build some of this in. All right, I think I might have expanded a little bit too much there. That uh, I only have 25 food left, which means uh, each time these things respawn, it takes up five food. So I'm gonna have to have to be a little bit cautious, just a little bit. Um, let's, use, let's make these guys group two. We'll make we'll make our worker ants group I don't know, group five or something. Although I kind of I want them to be nest group, but we got group two here. Uh, I do want these to defend, so that's good. All right, let's go up and attack uh, this group here. This one seems to be relatively small. So we'll send group one and group two over here. We'll dig into here. We should have like six enemies here to deal with in this spot. There are intruders there we go. in the nest. Get them, guys. Come on, you can do it. I don't want too many of them to die. I mean, we've got 20 black ants now, which is actually a fairly decent sized army to start with. All doing their little biting attacks. Nice. Okay, we lost a couple, but not too many, so that's good. That means we didn't uh, we didn't use too much food in order. To, uh, that's a lot starving. of there. Let's let's not get There's those. Not enough food to feed the new brood. Okay, we can't. 
Okay, we can go to the right here, I guess. We'll attack these ones. Attack these, and we'll try to get the food out of them, and that'll open up the food that's behind them. Also, actually, we might even be able to get to the food behind them without even attacking them, but we do have to kill them off ultimately anyway, so we might as well dig in here, I guess. Come on, worker ants. Open that up for me. There, are there we go. In the nest. No, the worker ants are supposed to run, but they're not running. Don't, don't defend. You guys just run. Let's send them back here. Oh wait, I don't want that. I don't want to, I don't want them to actually group anywhere. There we go. I just don't want them to Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna send them back to the home group. This isn't working. Oh man, this fight's still going on. We lost five, we lost six. Stop killing off my ants! Alright, we got them back. That's okay. Get in there, collect up the food, guys. So we'll take that back. That will should so this should supply us right back up to 220 again. Uh, and then if that doesn't, then this certainly will. More of those little wood lice guys. Go get them. Food stores are full. Okay, so we've got uh, we have some ad additional food we can spend. Then let's do uh, some more of these. And maybe we'll do a little bit of upgrading too. Uh, what have we got left to spend? 128. So we can upgrade some of the ones that are back here. They still have the wood lice they're killing up here. They're gonna bring the food back from them. That's gonna help us help us stock up a little bit more. We can do some more upgrading. I have almost every ant up to level two now, which is good. Oh, no, actually I don't. I have a whole bunch here that didn't upgrade yet. So I need to upgrade some more of these guys. All right, they make pretty short work of that food, but we have a decent amount stored up now. So we, with 113, we could, uh, 100, actually 120, almost 130. We can respawn quite a few ants, so that's good. We have an army of 25, uh, and for now that will do. Let's send them over here. And we'll start digging into this spot over here. We'll get into this group right here and see what we've got hiding in this here area. And then back here, there's a, wow, there's another whole ton of them back here, but there's some food back here too. So the nice thing is when you kill off the enemies, you get to, you get to feast on their bodies also. Chomping down on some beetles. Try to get them in close so they'll get involved in combat quickly. I want, them to, I want them to attack right away so they can kind of swarm there in. Are intruders in the, nest. there we go. Get in there, guys. Get in there. With 25 of you, you should be able to take these guys on fairly easily. Ooh, four down. They're going to be respawning behind me, so it's a little hard to keep track of how many you lose exactly. We lost two workers, though. We're five of seven. Oh, we got them. Nice. That was easy enough. Uh, all right, let's look at doing some more upgrades, I guess. Um, we can upgrade this one. We've got a couple down here we can upgrade. All right. We have significantly fewer that we can respawn, which maybe wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> I, I might have overextended. I think I might have I might have done too much upgrading. Um, actually, let's get rid of the marker for number three so I don't get confused by that. All right, let's put a marker one and two. Uh, we're going to try and dig in here and get this batch, whatever this is. So this will get us some more food, but there's a lot of enemies in this base. This one is going to be an interesting battle, I think. Come on, little dudes. Get your butts in here. Man, I've only got like 14 over here. What's going on? Out of 25, out of 25 black ants, I only have 15 of them over here. This is crazy. Get some more over here. We're going to need the, need the fighting resources. Stop wandering around. You're in a, you're in a combat group. Get over here. Come on, dig it in there. Let's get in here. There are intruders in the nest. We got? Ooh, we got a big one. Come on. The oh my gosh, that is into the path of a fully developed devil's coach horse beetle. Yeah, yeah you think? Hungry for breakfast. Uh, are four all right. times the size of a black ant. Let's try to get our black ants regrouping over here. Armor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run out of respawns. This is bad. If, if they kill off too many of my guys, the of its abdomen, then so we're gonna be toast. To uh oh, I, th I think I'm in trouble. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new. Bird. Oh no! I think I think we're toast. No! Don't kill! No! Ah, I overextended. Ah. So the upgrades were helpful because they get more powerful, but I didn't leave enough food for them to respawn, and now they're killing off all my black ants, and that's gonna be a wipe. 
Because uh, I can't stop them now. I can't spawn anymore. We have no more food, and they're just going to run down here and feast on my queen. These little worker ants don't do enough damage. I don't... Did I even kill any of those things? I did. I, I got through a couple of them. Um... There's yeah, nothing we can do. Ah, which means I have to restart the level. That stinks. Ah, our queen died. The queen has fallen. Her body will be dissected and her untended brood pillaged. No! Most of my went this way. Just another meal for the creatures of the undergrowth. Reminds me of that scene in Platoon with the guy's on his knees and his arms out. No! Defeat. Ah, oh, man. We're going to have to redo that level, I guess. So we spent 25 minutes on that. Wow, that was quite a while. Uh, score 5,910. We did get some spoils for doing it, which is really weird. You know, if, if, I'm surprised they gave us any rewards there because we didn't actually finish out the level. Ah, but we'll have to try that again. All right, we battled our way back. Uh, we're at that same point again. Now, it seems like uh, it's a bit of a challenge in here. This, uh, no. All right, we battled our way back. I'm actually playing on medium level now because uh, the uh, hard mode was really like, super difficult. So uh, we did have one of those giant beetle things in here that was fully grown that we're going to have to try and deal with now. I'm going to have our squad of ants hang back a little bit farther. We have 27 of them maximum right now. Uh, so I'm going to have them hang back. And I think what I'll do is try to open up a gap here and just uh, try to get the, the enemy to come out of it, the opening a little bit. And what that should do is help spread them out so the, the black ants can get in there. I think what was happening was that with the bottleneck that I had created, just a little tiny opening, uh, the black ants couldn't really swarm on them. And I, I, had, I had ants that were left milling around out of the reach of the, the combat and not fighting because they couldn't really stack in tight enough. So if I can get the enemy to come out here a little bit, that we might have a little more loose in the nest. There we go. The larvae must be protected. Come on, out you get, guys. That's unfortunately going to sacrifice a couple workers in the process, but this will let more of the black ants, I think, into the fight because they can kind of surround the enemy instead of being just stuck on that one little opening. And hopefully, this will result in us losing fewer ants and killing more of these things quickly because they were already stacked up together. So one way or another, we were still dealing with the same number of biting mouths. Ooh, we lost quite a few actually. 17, 18. So we lost all like 10 there. Now, there wasn't one of those giant uh, Devil's Coach Horse ants in there anymore, or uh, beetles in there anymore. I guess because it's on medium mode, they don't have them in there. Maybe the last ones we'll have to fight will be over here or something, if they're here at all. Oh, there's actually food over here I didn't grab yet either. So that'll be good. That'll help fuel our army a little bit, because we do need more ants than what we have now. We'll do the same thing over here, I think. Cut in here and collect all this. Hopefully this, this chamber isn't connected. <laughs> if it is, then I, I might have a small problem. Because I didn't have my army ready. We should maybe send them over here. Get all the soldier ants collected up. Again, we only have 27 of them, so I have to work on that. Now, I also need to do some more upgrading. I have a number of them upgraded to level 2, but I don't have a ton of them yet. You don't need more. Okay, good. Those chambers aren't connected, so we can go in here and get all the food. And that'll help us build up again. We have all this food. Man, actually... Man, we've got tons of food at the moment. Okay, so we're already maxed out for food, so I'm going to go through here and try to try to level up a bit so our ants will be a little bit more powerful. Okay, we built our army up to 37 ants now. Um, they're not all level 2, unfortunately, so they're maybe not as strong as I might like them to be, but I, I feel like it might be like a numbers game at this point where I just need to have the numbers of ants that I can just kind of swarm things with. Oh my gosh, look at all those, look at all those bugs. Come on, get those Devil's Coach Wars. Oh, that one went down quick because they had it, had it well surrounded. 32 ants. 31 ants. All right, so we lost a couple there, but not, not too bad, actually. Lots of little biting ant mouths. Certainly helped a lot. All right, so they'll get a little bit more food out of this. I'm going to try and focus on building up my food resources now and hope that 37 ants will be enough to take on the end battle here. Because there's only this one last section that's, that's here that we're going to have to clear out. And I want to make sure we have enough food stored up that our ants can keep respawning if they die off on me. So that, you know, the trouble I ran into before was that I just ran out of food and then I had just I couldn't create any more ants to continue the fight. Uh oh. 
Uh, let's try and let's do an upgrade here. We can upgrade our food stores a little bit. Hopefully that will help. It's because we're maxing out right now. We're getting, we're getting right up to that 230. 350 is now our max. Okay, so that's pretty good. I think we should have a fair amount there. Let's send our ants over here. We'll get them get them ready in the staging area. Actually, we'll have them out here. I want I want these guys to come out so I can I can swarm them again and get them in a little bit of a larger area where I can fight some more. Now we can surround them a little bit. Oh, we maxed out again. Okay, so let's um let's upgrade some of these ants then. Try to get them up to level two. There, we'll go that way. And then hopefully with the amount of food that we'll get off of killing these ones off, we'll push that right back up near max again, and that will give us in a, a good position to try and make this last attack. All right, let's cut in. We'll see what we got on this side. Hopefully there might be another one of those full-grown ones in here. We haven't run into one yet. Um, now when I switched from hard mode to medium mode, there was one of those um, Devil's Coach Horse uh, beetles in here, fully grown. So we had to, to loosen the nest. With. The oh, there is one there. Okay. Um... So I'm going to wait for them to, unfortunately, kill off those workers, and then they'll come out here. Have stumbled into the path of a fully developed devil's coach horse beetle. Sure did. Let's and go get him. hungry for breakfast. All right, so now we can the kind of surround them a little bit. The size of a black ant and protected by thick plates of external armor. Get him, little guys. Get him. The Man, that one's huge. Sprays foul-smelling secretions from the end of its raised abdomen. Disorient All right, that one, that went really well. We killed that thing off fast. The All right, so it was good to be able to surround it. Its corpse will provide food to support dozens of new brood. Darn right. All right, let's send uh, send our ants back over here. We'll get ready. We'll do the same thing with this next one, I think. We'll haul them right out into this open space. Now, there's a lot more enemies in this next one. So hopefully we can take them on. But if I can draw them into this open area, we might be able to surround them again with the ants. Uh, and really, I think the challenge I was having before was just that it was too much of a bottleneck. And we couldn't get all the black ants in there to be engaged in the fight. But this should help th with that significantly. Uh, are we going to max out the food? I don't think we are. So we're 265. Which gives me quite a few that we can respawn, which is good. Maybe not as many as I would like to, but uh, 275. Alright, so we're in a pretty good spot. Let's cut in here and see what happens. I'm get oh, there's another, another food thing over here. Let's go get this quickly. Cancel that for a second. That's right, guys. There you go. Bring that food back. Uh, anything we can add to our larder there will help out in our uh, in our efforts to respawn more of our little black ant brood before they uh, after they get killed off. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure based on how this has been progressing, I'm probably going to lose the first batch of 37 here. So we're definitely going to need to respawn more of them uh, in order to keep up the fight. Now, what I'm thinking is that if we can attack them when they come out here and do as much damage as possible. The second batch of them, I'll maybe try to regroup back here. I don't know. It's going to be really close. I might not have enough time. If we can regroup them somewhere, maybe if we open the space up in here. This might be where the, the last fight takes place, right next to our, our Brood Queen. So that way, if they're fighting back here, we have a short distance in order for them to run uh, when they're actually attacking things. And this will give us a nice area that we can kind of try to surround them. And that way, if they're dying off here, we might can hopefully still be respawning them right here and they can jump right back into the fight. Well, we'll see what happens. All right, we have uh, 36, 37, something. I don't know, they're still wandering their way over there, but it says there's 37 headed this way. Let's dig in here, bring out this last batch of insects and find out what we're dealing with. There goes the worker ants. They're digging in. What do we got? What do we got? Predators are loose. Oh, nest. there's two of them in there. Oh, that's the not good. They must be protected. All right, they just they just obliterated that poor little worker ant. But now they'll come out here, and hopefully we can swarm around them and take them out. No, don't don't let them get don't let them get down to the nest. We gotta if we're having to chase after them, that's bad. All right, so we we did actually separate two of them and kill them off quickly. Thirty two. We've only lost five ants so far. Six ants. It's actually going pretty well. This is good. We have a lot of them biting from different directions, too, so that spray isn't necessarily hitting all of them at once. I'm going to let the ants keep spawning and coming up here for a second, I think. Because we still have quite a few. Oh, we took one down! Yes, there's one left and a small one. Two small ones, three small ones. <laughs> Alright, I didn't even need a, a backup plan. The ants are holding their own up here. Okay, so definitely one of the big things with the ants is don't let them, don't let them get into a tiny little space to fight, because it actually just... 
Gives the uh, gives the enemy better odds because yes, yes. Good job. This Formica Fusca colony has now established itself as a rising power. That is one universe. ugly ant. Soon their territory will need to expand above ground, where new challenges await. For the time being, however, the queen is safe. Victory for Formica Fusca. All right, uh, choose a reward for your Formicarium. Oh, okay, so we actually, I thought we were going to get everything, but we just choose a reward. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so we can focus with more food, more territory, or more jelly. Okay, that's neat. So you do get all three types, but you can actually choose which one is more important to you. So I think we're going to go with the extra royal jelly. So we can upgrade our ants a little bit. Do something a little more special with them on that level. This one took a little bit longer, 35 minutes. Uh, combat score, 1984. Resource collected, 4159. Score, 12,860. I don't know what good that does, but uh, this is the reward we got. We have 20, terri uh, 20 territory, 71 royal jelly, and 1658 food. Sweet. How is the colony progressing? The queen is exhibiting interesting new behaviors. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. <laughs> These scientists sound weird. All right, well, thanks everyone for checking the video. I'm going to call it a wrap for now, and we'll come back another time and do another challenge. Uh, that took a little bit to kind of get a handle on things, but I think we've got the combat with the ants figured out a little bit better. Hopefully we can do a little bit better strategy-wise next time in our battles with them. Uh, we'll do some upgrades next time with our ants using some of that uh, royal jelly as well. We'll definitely come back and play some more Empires of the Undergrowth. Thanks, everyone, for checking out the video. Again, this is a, this game comes out on December 1st. It'll be available in Steam. Uh, I'll have the link to the game down below if you want to go check it out yourself. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.